Alrighty, here we have Lord of the Rings Gollum being played on the Xbox Series X, courtesy of Evolve PR. Um, so this game has you playing as Gollum, or Smeagol, uh, through the uh, Lord of the Rings uh, storyline. So you are currently in the... Um, uh, currently in Mordor. And right now I am tasked with collecting all of the tags for the dead bodies, of there being eight of them. Now, this game plays pretty well. Um, I know it got panned um, during the... when, the, when uh, other uh, outlets did reviews. I don't think this is a bad game um, for what it is. It's a, it's a stealth uh, uh, action game that definitely stays true to the Lord of the Rings um, story and, and lore. And it's a really good job of telling Smeagol's or Gollum's story. Um, I do like the game. I think the game looks really good. Uh, now, this is with ray tracing and quality, as well as Smeagol's um, hair, as you can see. Um, I'm crawling around, and the hair is bouncing bounce up and down. Um, now, it initially defaults, if I hit the start button and go down to settings, initially defaults to performance with the Gollum hair simulation off. Now, if I do that, his hair is static. And the game definitely plays a lot smoother. But it doesn't look nearly as good. I, I initially thought, when I first started this game, that it didn't look very optimized for the Series X, because this is an Xbox One game. However, uh, turning on the ray tracing um, definitely uh, definitely helps make the game pop. Uh, yeah, you're going to get a hit in performance, but it's going to look really, really good. Um, oh, I saw a fire there. Um, if you're a fan of Lord of the Rings, um, the uh, original trilogy, uh, trilogy uh, you're going to like this game. Uh, if you're a fan of Gollum, Smeagol, you're going to like this game. Um, if you're a fan of these kinds of games, you're going to like this game. But if you're not any of those, then yeah, I can see you maybe not liking this game <laughs> because it's not going to be for everyone. Um, but as a Lord of the Rings fan, I've really enjoyed this game thus far. Um, it's definitely a great game. It looks good. Plays really well. It was overall a really great experience. And we're going to jump over here, and we need to go up there. So I'm going to go ahead and see. So you can use Golem's Intuition to see ledges you can climb, you can climb on, bugs, certain paths. I'm going to have to run. Well, maybe not. Oh. There we go, it's up there. Oh. Wrong way. I love the music. The music in this game is amazing. Uh, very good music. Again, definitely holds true or stays true to the um, the uh, trilogy's roots. Ah, I was supposed to jump backwards. I kind of wish that this was a Series X only game, quite honestly speaking, just because it would look that much better. Um, but this doesn't look bad at all. Um, the game looks really good. It's fun. It's very enjoyable. But again, that's going to come if you are a Lord of the Rings fan. Um, or if you're a fan of these kinds of games. If you're not, you're not going to find much enjoyment in this game. And I can see why um, this game got panned. Because it's really a, a fan service to the, the two fans of the Lord of the Rings series. And it's definitely not as optimized as it potentially could be. 
such as if it were a Series X only game, it would look a lot better and perform a lot better than it does. Hey. What kind of freak is that? And I think that's a lot of the reason why it got panned. Um, because it doesn't perform well. Um, and if you do turn on performance mode, it does perf it does look really good. Like, it, like it's smooth, but it doesn't look as graphically impressive as it could um, if it was a Series X, Series S only game. But again, that should take away from the fact that it's a decent game. It's a fun game, and you have a lot of fun with it if you're a fan of Lord of the Rings, um, as I am. Um, and this is a great game. It's fun. Like I said, it's fun. It's exciting. It's it's neat. It's a very enjoyable stealth-like uh, experience. And uh, I'm going to go into the interview here, guys. Um, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you be a part of the channel. Just to over a thousand subscribers. Uh, shooting for 1,500. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely on my way there. I uh, thank you for all PR. And. Uh, uh, the yeah, Evil Chris is a ghost by on Twitter for <laughs> providing the opportunity for the for the game here. Um, and again, a great experience. Definitely one I recommend. Uh, well, thank you for watching. Thanks for having us. Always until next time. Take care and happy gaming.